the Telegram messaging app is a place which has various hidden tricks and life hacks that will come in handy in everyday life. Today we're gonna talk about how to use the search tab, find a photo on the web directly through the messenger, choose multiple messages and much more. Here you'll find Telegram tips for iOS. Welcome to the Telebloke channel and let's get started. The iPhone has its own cool solutions for using the Messenger, and the first of them is Quick Search. To go to a search tab in a chat, group or channel, users usually do the following. You should tap on the username, channel or group name, and then select the search button. But there is an easier way to do that. If you long press on the same username, group or channel name, the search box will open and you can do whatever you like there. Search by text or date, and you don't have to take any other steps. You would agree that it's super convenient when everything is at hand and you can skip unnecessary actions. The same goes for finding images on the web right through Telegram. If you want to find a picture this way, click on the staple at the bottom left corner of the screen, then select photo or video, and you will be prompted to select a picture among the recent ones on your smartphone. And to search, all you have to do is tap on the magnifying glass in the top right corner of the screen. Now you can search for pictures and GIFs on the internet. Just enter the keywords and you will get various options. Choose the one you like and tap send. Super convenient. You can do almost the same in the settings of your profile picture. Tap on it, then click the edit button at the top right corner of the screen, then select new photo or video, and at the bottom in the window you will get three options. Remove photo, open gallery, and search web. The last one is just what we need. Tap on it and look for the image. How do you like that? Give this video a thumbs up if it's new for you. With the Telegram update, users now have the ability to pin multiple messages. And now, this feature is available both in groups and channels, as well as in private chats. If you want to pin a message, just long tap on the message and then select Pin. There you can choose if you want to pin it just for you or for the other person too. With another message, you must do the same. After that, below the name of the user, group or chat, you will see a line with a special icon, meaning that you have several posts pinned. By tapping on the pinned message, you will switch to the next message and Telegram will go to it in the chat. And by tapping on the previously mentioned icon, you can open a list of all pinned messages. This will be useful so you don't lose your shopping list or any to-dos that are important not to forget. With the introduction of new gestures in iOS, you can select multiple messages in a group, personal chat, or channel in Telegram. To do this, you just need to tap two fingers and swipe up or down, and the messages will be highlighted. After that, you can remove the ticks from the messages you don't need, or vice versa, select more. And finally, you can do whatever you want with these posts or messages. Delete, save, or forward them. If you have two or more Telegram profiles on iOS, this feature is just for you. If you long press on your second profile and settings, you'll get a preview of its chats. You can't scroll through them, but you can tap to read all of them or exit the profile. Next, I'm gonna tell you about the ways to send messages and secret reading, so bear with me. Not subscribed yet? Then it's time to ring the bell and press the subscribe button to join our fascinating world of Telegram and other social networks. You would agree that it's super convenient to get a message but see a preview first, because you don't know what it says. What if there's something unpleasant there? At least on iOS, this moment can be delayed. To do this, just long press on the message, which will open a preview of the chat, which you can scroll down. The menu below the window allows you to mark the messages as read, pin, delete, or turn off notifications from the selected chat. Let me point out that you cannot make a mistake here. Even if you tap on the box itself, it won't open completely. So you you don't have to worry about accidentally reading the message. If you want to close it, just tap on the free area outside of the window. Many people are not aware of the miracle button to send messages without sound or scheduling messages. If you want to send a message to someone without sound, for example, at a late time of the day, just long press on the send arrow and you will get this option, the other person will get a notification, but without any sound. Here, you can also schedule a message. You just need to tap on Schedule Message and select the date and time. How often would you use these features if you knew about them? 
I for one like sending a message into the future if I need to remind the other person about something. And I can also send it without sound, not to bother somebody. Share in the comments if you've tried any of these. Telegram likes to move certain features from one place to another. Disappearing photos is a cool feature that used to be in one part of the menu, but now it's moved. And you can find it here. First, select the picture you want to send. To do this, tap on the paper clip at the bottom left of the screen. Tap on the photo or video to select it from your photo feed. Tap on the image and then at the bottom right corner of the screen, long press send and you'll get the same context menu as for the messages. Click set timer. Here you can choose the time range from one second to one minute. After you click on set timer, the disappearing photo will be sent with a special icon and the timer person has to view it. After viewing, the photo will disappear. I really hope that you have found something new and useful in these tips. I would appreciate your likes and shares. And don't forget to share in the comments if you have learned something new and share other useful tips for iOS with us. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and be trendy.